ever wondered how you can use simple psychology to take advantage in your everyday life? In this video, we're diving into 19 incredible psychological tricks that actually work. These tips are easy to use and can make a big difference in how you interact with others and how you feel. So get ready to learn some awesome tricks that will impress your friends and improve your life. Let's get started. Number one, don't begin with could you when you're asking for something. Starting this way might make the other person think you're just asking a theoretical question. For instance, asking could you call the neighbors might lead to a response like yes, I could theoretically, but I didn't agree to it. While could you is polite, it's better to say please call the neighbors if you want to make sure your request is understood and acted upon. Number two, make someone feel uncomfortable. If you want to make someone feel uneasy, try looking at the middle of the forehead while you talk to them. Many people feel like they're being closely watched when you do this, which doesn't help them relax. I'm not sure what you want to make others uncomfortable, but who knows, there might be a situation where you'd consider it. Number three, tell the truth. If someone you're talking to is trying to dodge a question, simply pause for a moment while maintaining eye contact. This might make them feel uneasy and prompt them to keep talking. They might share more details about the topic you're curious about, and they might even tell you the truth if they were lying. This is because they may think that your silence and expression indicate that you already know the truth. Number four, ask them to explain something to you. Imagine you've just begun a new job or school. If you want to make a good impression on someone in the class or office, simply ask them to explain something to you. It doesn't matter if you already know the answer or not, this simple act can boost the other person's overall attitude towards you and earn you some extra points. Number five, affirmative answer. Yes, nodding subtly while asking a question can help a positive answer. This is a common trick used by restaurant staff to encourage customers to order more food and it works well. Number six, subtle tricks for busy moments. If someone is really focused on something, like having a serious phone call, you can reach out and take something from their hand without them realizing. They might not even remember later. Same trick works in reverse too. You can give them something while talking and they won't even notice. This is pretty handy when you're cleaning up or moving to a new house. Number seven, make a request. If you need someone to do something for you, you can ask them in a very friendly way, suggesting they might not be able to do it. People often try harder when they're told they can't do something. You can also start by asking a small or different favor before asking for the main thing. This helps build a connection, making it harder for them to say no later. Number eight, start nodding. Begin by gently nodding your head, similar to asking questions. Nodding can signal agreement and encourage the other person to pay closer attention to what you're saying. This subtle gesture can make your conversation partner more engaged without them even realizing it. Number nine, negotiations. Here's a great tip for negotiations. If you generally like an offer but want better conditions, be ready for some disappointment. This approach can work wonders whether it's for a high price or a low salary. Number 10, sucker goal. When your alarm clock rings, Pretend you've just scored a goal in soccer. Sit up and make two fists like a soccer player celebrating. This might seem strange, but it can help you get out of bed feeling more awake and ready for the day. Give it a try and tell us in the comments if it worked for you. Number 11, weird phrase. If you've always worried about whether you locked the door or turned off your iron, just say a really silly phrase when you do these things. The phrase can be different every day, for instance, you could say green rabbit when turning off the iron or oppressive crab when locking the door. The next time you start doubting whether you did something, you'll remember saying this strange phrase and it will help you feel calmer. Number 12, when someone wants to start an argument with you. If someone tries to start an argument or drama with you, try saying something nice instead. The old trick of kill them with kindness really can make them stop. Another trick is to stay calm and say nothing. Being ignored can be very irritating. But if you want to avoid an argument with a friend or partner, try to see things from their perspective. This might help you understand if there's something important in their complaints 
that you're not seeing. Number 13, lazy person. If there's someone in your team who's not working as fast as the rest, don't just tell them what to do. Instead, suggest they start with a small task. This way it feels like less work. Once they've completed that task, encourage them by saying, very good, now continue with this. Keep doing this until they finish what you originally asked them to do. Number 14, speak in public. If you have to speak in public, remember to bring a bottle of water. You'll need it because nerves can make your mouth dry. Also, you can take a sip to remember parts of your speech that you forgot. The audience won't notice. If you're nervous, it's okay to tell them. It can make the atmosphere more relaxed, calm your nerves, and make the audience more understanding because many of them have probably felt the same way. Number 15, keep gazing. If someone keeps staring at you in the subway, which happens a lot, just take a look at their shoes. Don't give up, keep looking back, it will annoy them. If you seem concerned, just ignore them. Number 16, look worried. If you always look really worried when you see someone you know, eventually that person will start feeling worried too whenever they see you. So think about how you want to use this information. Number 17, if someone has done something wrong. If someone has done something wrong but you don't want to sound too accusing, you can change how you say it. For example, instead of saying you didn't close the window before you left, you can say the window was left open all night. This way, they'll learn from their mistake and you won't seem like your pointing fingers are being mean. Number 18, lack of sleep. If you didn't sleep well, tell yourself that you did. It might sound strange, but it really does work. Scientists from Colorado College discovered that if you truly believe you had a good night's sleep, even if you didn't, your brain works better. Number 19, remembering things. People tend to remember things that happened at the beginning and end of the day better than what happened in between. This is useful to know for job interviews. Try scheduling your interview for the start or end of the workday. This way, the employer is more likely to remember you compared to other candidates. Do you know any other helpful tricks for getting what you want? Share your experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay positive.